Buy yourself a brand new drone and then throw a lot of leaves at it. That makes sense, doesn't it? Welcome to another video and this is a special autumn series on how DJI drones fare against occupational hazards in the autumn or fall if you're in the United States. And the first thing I'm going to be looking at is on how they deal with leads. That's very underwhelming. So let's have a look at the drones we'll be looking at today and we're looking at five different drones by DJI and that consists of a smorgensbord of these. First of all we have the almost indestructible DJI Neo, the DJI Avata 2, we have the DJI Mini 3 Pro. I haven't got a Mini 4 Pro, so we're using that one instead. The DJI Air 3S, brand new, and the mighty DJI Mavic 3 Pro. Okay, so you might wonder how we're gonna be testing these drones against their leaf resistance. Well, quite simply, we're gonna do a knockout competition of all five drones against each other with increasing levels of leafiness. The first test is gonna be a single leaf, then we're gonna do a handful of leaves, and then if anything survives that, we're gonna go for a whole bucket of leaves and see if they survive it. I don't know if they will or how that's going to do. We could end up with drones crashing in this one. I hope not, but who knows? I have no idea. I have a feeling that the Mavic 3 Pro is going to do quite well, but then the Neo has got its prop guards on it, so who knows? Anyway, let's get started with a single leaf. One leaf. Okay. Didn't expect that. Let's try that one more time. That's actually not coping anywhere near as well as I thought. And I, and I think the problem might be because you've got these prop guards on it, leaves can lay on top of it, completely block the airflow to one of the props and obviously that's gonna cause it to crash. So I'm gonna see what it's like with the prop guards taking off and see if it's any better. Okay, same test. Same test again with no prop guards. Let's see what it does now. Okay. Ah, okay, that's much better. One more time. All right, so some great consumer advice for you already. If you're flying the DJI Neo in woodlands, you're best off taking the prop guards off because you're running a high risk of leaves falling onto this. A leaf would fall onto the top of the prop guard and stop the airflow and cause it to crash, which would mean you'd have to walk into the woods and find this little drone, which is really resilient, so it probably won't get damaged, but you don't want to be walking around looking for this. So take the prop guards off and any leaves or a single leaf will get chewed up by the props and spat out the other side. Great. Moving on to the next one, the DJI Avatar 2. All right, done well there. I'll try it one more time. One leaf, Avatar. Ah, easy. Avatar 2 against a single leaf, no problem at all. Moving on to the next one, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Okay, the lightest of the non-FPV drones I'm flying today, the DJI Mini 3 Pro against a single leaf. Let's see how it does. Okay. Okay, one more, single leaf. Ah. Very easy for this. Um, a solid pass for the Mini 3 Pro on a single leaf. Okay, next, taking on a single leaf, we have the brand new DJI Air 3S, which I'm pretty sure is just gonna make light work of it, but we'll test it anyway, so let's get going. Okay, one leaf, here we go. No effort at all, so well done. Moving on to the mighty DJI Mavic 3 Pro, which I'm pretty sure is gonna do about the same, but let's have a look at it. Okay, here we go, one leaf. Ah, well, just like the Air 3S, this one didn't even register it. It's just absolute piss work for this drone to take on one leaf. So round one, pass for the Mavic 3 Pro. And we'll go on to round two to see how they all deal with a handful of leaves. <sighs> all right, here we go. Handful of leaves, DJ on Neo. Mm. Not particularly good on that one. Okay, so that wasn't very good, but we're going to try that one more time because... 
it's completely undamaged and this drone can take so much abuse we can do these tests again. Nah. I think that means that the DJI Neo is out of the race in round two, but it's done very valiantly and it's held up very well against a single leaf. So well done Neo, but you're out. Next, the DJI Avatar 2. Okay, handful of leaves against the DJI Avatar 2. Let's see how it does. Very good, look at that. No problem at all for that other drone. Absolutely destroyed it, so well done Avatar 2. Moving on to the DJI Mini 3 Pro. A handful of leaves sprinkled onto the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Let's see how it does it. I'm a bit closer to the ground because I don't really want to break it. We'll see how it does. Just, let's try it again. All right, here we go. <sighs> okay, so that passed that test only just because on one of those rounds it did veer off and sort of went a bit funny, but um, it's still technically a pass. So I guess it's gonna have to go for the big test in a minute. Anyway, moving on to the next drone, the DJI Air 3S. Okay, handful of leaves against the DJI Air 3S. Here we go. Let's do it one more time, here we go. Very light work, so another success for the E3S. Handful of leaves, no problem at all. Moving on to the Mavic 3 Pro again. Okay, so a handful of leaves being thrown at a 2,000 pound drone. Here we go. This is very stupid. Okay, that's a pass in round two for the Mavic 3 Pro, which is starting to look quite filthy. Um, now I'm gonna throw a whole bucket of leaves at these, which is feeling really stupid, but we'll do it anyway. First drone in round three of the bucket of leaves challenge is the DJI Vata 2. And as you can see, I'm lower down and near some bushes to give these a slightly softer landing if they crash, because it's a lot more likely they're gonna crash. So a Vata 2, let's see how this little drone does. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, that was very impressive. I mean, those leaves absolutely plummeted onto this drone, a lot of weight on it, props slowing down, nearly hit the bottom, but dragged itself up again and passed round three, just by the skin of its teeth, but still a pass, so well done Avata 2. Okay, round three for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Not much hope for this because it's a tiny little lightweight drone, not much power behind it, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Okay, well that didn't go so well for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. It did valiantly up until this point, um, round one and two, fought through like a little warrior, but a bucket full of leaves is just too much for this little drone. So you're out of the competition, moving on to the next one. Okay, onto the big boys, and we've got the ER3S going up against a full bucket full of leaves. Let's get going. Okay, well, another very impressive performance from the ER3S, which just takes a whole bucket full of leaves and takes them in, chews them up, spits them out, and makes light work of it. So, pass. Moving on to the Mavic 3 Pro. Okay, the last drone to be attacked by a bucket full of leaves is the Mavic 3 Pro. A bucket of leaves thrown onto a 2,000 pound drone. The things I do. Anyway, here we go. Okay, well, I'm very happy to say that my most expensive drone of the lineup has also passed that round with flying colors. 
just like the F3S, it just destroys a bucket full of leaves. It can just take so much hammering. So I'm very impressed with it. Very impressed I didn't break it. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the winners of the drone versus leaf competition. And as you probably guessed it, in joint first place are the DJI Air3S and the Mavic 3 Pro. Both of these drones could take pretty much any amount of leaf abuse that was thrown at them, which is very impressive. The way they chew up those leaves is actually quite scary. So if you're thinking about maybe putting your fingers or body parts near these propellers, taking risks, don't because there's a lot of energy behind these and a lot of potential to do damage. So that's something worth bearing in mind. Okay, so in place three is the DJI Avatar, which has passed round three just about. Done ever so well because the amount of leaves that actually hit it in that round was pretty incredible and it still made its way up. So this is a very clear choice for place number three. Okay, in place number four is the DJI Mini 3 Pro, which didn't quite make it through round number three, but it did very well up until that point and very impressive for such a light drone. Okay, in last place, and this is quite an interesting one really, is the DJI Neo, which actually wouldn't have even passed round number one if we wouldn't have taken the prop guards off. So this is quite interesting. If you're flying around woodlands with this little drone, remember to take your prop guards off if there's a high chance of leaves hitting it, because if they do, they'll sit on top of the prop guards, block the airflow and cause it to crash. But other than that, it did very well. just couldn't make it through round number two. Okay, just a quick reality check though. In reality, you're only going to have a single leaf or two hitting a drone at any one time. So all these drones sit very well and all of them would do fine flying through woodlands and being hit by leaves if you take the prop guards off the DJI Neo, which is the worst performer of the lot, but would still do fine in those conditions. Okay, just a quick disclaimer. If you're looking to do these kind of tests yourself, and I don't know why you would, but if you did, obviously be aware that that kind of abuse on your motors can damage your ESCs, motors, electronics, or even lead to the drone crashing altogether. So... I wouldn't do this if you're really attached to your drone and you're not expecting to potentially have to send it away for repair, which I'm happy to do because I'm trying to entertain you, but otherwise I wouldn't do it. Anyway, that's the end of this video and I hope you really enjoyed this one. It's another unusual one. It's a bit wacky, but that's what I do. If you enjoy these kind of videos, there'll be another one coming out in about one week's time. So remember to like and subscribe and all that jazz if you want to be notified about that one. And if you're watching this late in the year, obviously you can watch the whole thing binged in one go. So other than that, happy flying, stay safe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching.